Yes, sidekick? Having a mysterious sidekick is pretty fun overall. It's a vast world, and there's treasure to be found. Let's get exploring. All right, then. We owe you, civilian. But if I may, why exactly do you need a gas mask? You're not going to Islington, are you? Islington isn't a stroll in the park. It's a wade through a snake pit. Ever since Miller and his men took over Islington, they've locked the gates shut. As to why they wish to be locked in a tunnel cough zone is beyond me. But that's the sit rep. Our scouts reported the best entry route is the sewers via Hackney. Miller's men don't know about it. Here, yeah. keep it maintained. Otherwise, it'll break when you least want it to. Goons to deal with.
after us.
Can I help you? Nice haircut. Because if you can't see value here today, you're not up here shopping, you're up here shoplifting. You seen these goods? Never seen daylight, moonlight, Israelites, fanny by the gaslight. Take a bag, come on, take a bag. I took a bag home last night, cost me a lot more than £10, I can tell you. Anyone like jewellery? Look at that one there. Handmade in Italy, hand stolen in Stepney. It's as long as my arm, I wish it was as long as something else. Don't think because these boxes are sealed up, they're empty. The only man who sells empty boxes. So what'll it be, Squire? Now, if you're about to ask me what happened, don't bother, mate. I ain't got a Scooby. One minute I'm flying at 30k, next I'm pie and mash. Know what I mean? I am speaking English, wanker. Do you speak it? I'll make sure to speak slow for you. I represent the governor, Mr. Tenpenny. The gov's got everything, and if he ain't got it, he don't want it. Now, I'm in a sticky wicket, because this master stroke of a landing was done by our pilot, who, as you can see, ain't much of a talker no more since she's brown bread. Know what I mean? Silver lining, though, this makes the situation under my employ. Which, lucky for you, me old China, means the merch is going to be coming off the back of the lorry for just a cheeky couple of quid. Okay? So what'll it be, Squire? Treat the wife, treat somebody else's wife. It's a lot more fun if you don't get caught. Check every RFS.
on you. Yeah. 
you! Down there! Fancy lending a hand! Oh my! Yes! Yes! Up here! Are you going to help me down? Wonderful! Wonderful! Simply untangle my foot, and I shall gracefully drop to the floor below. Just let me count down first. On one. Three. Two. One. No! As far as holidays go, that was not to my liking. I don't see myself hanging from another sign any time soon. A pleasure to meet you. I am Arthur Mountbatten. And what do I call my one and only savior? The Wayfarer. Quite the exquisite name. But I am not in a position to judge. Now, I assume you must be curious as to why you found me in such a quaint predicament as this one. You see, I am a tithe collector for the government in Westminster. It is a title and a position that was foisted upon me against my will. I was tasked with telling the roundels that their tax had been retroactively increased by five percent, and that they were to promptly pay me the difference. Unfortunately, my visible distaste for the work and my repeated pleas for empathy didn't stop the roundels from stringing me up on their side. A sentiment I agree with. I might even say it was purposely unfair. But that is not a matter for us to focus on. If anything, I believe that this encounter is a sign that I should leave behind all this talk of taxes and accompany you through the wastes. What do you say? We could be quite the pair. I'm quite skilled at data entry, archiving, organizing... Uh, oh... You mean, what can I do in terms of defending myself? Well, I do have my trusty Webley. It has been in the family for decades. Never missed. Of course, I really fire it. And face the disgrace of further failure? Please. I have no interest in discovering what lies at the bottom of this particular barrel. Our world is filled with wonders and terrors. It helps to have someone who can help you properly react to them. Capital. Ah, but I see that you already have a companion. Pardon me, but I have no desire to fight for your attention. If you ever find yourself in need of an additional, I'll be here. Yes, Psychic? Look out for any interesting old buildings, right?
Right over there. Hit him from the side. Every day we take a little piece back, but we lost. Oh, oh, you're right. It's good yeah. at like this. Clothes don't say something. I think we got them all. At least the ones here, right, Guy? Yeah, Rosie. Thanks to our new friend here. Look at that. Proper manners and all. Hope your gentle ways don't mind helping us some more. Shh. Quiet and you can hear it starting. The guns in the distance. It's going to be a proper hurly burly. Here. I'll give to you a roundel. Knocking in Miller's men's heads. Meet us on Crawford Street. And bring the roundel. It's a bit of a long story, but the short version is they just don't like us. What a piece of work is a Miller's man. When this is all over, stop by the Oberon and we'll tell you the whole tale over a pint. Miller, most likely. But with you there, he won't be for long. If you're scared, don't show. But I think we both know you're not scared. Don't stall now. Push forward. Go find an Uncle Ned. Someone help. Shite. Owls and blood. This outfit's ruined.
Anything catch your eye? Take a look. Bye. Find yourself well. Clean air and clean living. Well, almost clean. Hi, how are you? It's a great day, just to faff around a little and live. So you're the mysterious stranger with a roundel? That would be Miller, the blighter walled up behind us. We've just been discussing the best way to smash his head in. You look like you know a thing or two about that. Get away in. We have the men for a frontal assault, but it'll get bloody fast. There's a way around back, but we don't have the key. Get serious. We need a plan of attack. If you can get us in, let's go. Bit of a hoarder, are you? Miller's men cower. They knows they can't hold what he took from us. And today, we're gonna take it back. This day, we erase these skinheads from North London. Today, we reclaim Roundel territory. Today, we will be victorious! For your friends and family who fell fighting, for a stronger Roundel gang than ever before, and for our fallen Prince Keith! Fancy a punch out.
Remember me and my valiant sacrifice. All I gave and all. Ignore him. He tripped on the stairs and sprained his ankle. Can I have at least one dramatic monologue? Your comic relief. But this stranger who wandered in, grabbed our roundel and charged in beside us. That's leading role material. There are no bit roles, you know. You just keep telling yourself that. Remember me and my valiant sacrifice. All I gave and all. Ignore it. Well, we won. Go us. <clears throat> Do you think that side door is open? No reason. Remember me and my valiant sacrifice. All I gave and all. Ignore him. Was a great victory. We righted many wrongs, avenging Keith Davies, retaking the Oberon, and crushing Miller's men, to name a few. But this wasn't just about getting our land back. We stopped Miller cold. Miller expected we just sit in our thumbs and let him march across our lands, but the bastard paid for his arrogance. Yes, we suffered. We didn't expect anyone could sneak past our defenses. But thanks to our newest Rindle, we remain the kings of North London. Ronnie, my mate, my trusted friend, why don't you tell this crowd exactly what that note you were trying to burn said? Oh, uh, what note? This one. Surely there has to be a, a hundred Ronnies out there. There's only one who knew our defenses. Only one who could hide dozens of men in the Oberon. Why would I let a bunch of skinheads into my bar? Power. I'll bet Miller promised you some fancy title. Or money. You always did like your hoard of tickets. I was not bribed. Ronnie, this is your one chance to confess. 
You will not get a second. Power. Miller promised to let me rule over Oberon, and I'd sit on his council. Dennis, it's time for you to lead. What do we do with this traitor? That's a decision for Pete. We don't have time to take this to Pete, and you know he's not in a position to decide. Stranger, you've easily been the deciding factor in today's fight. What do you think we should do? He is the leader, but as his lieutenant, I have the authority to deliver justice on his behalf. Ronnie Jones, for the crimes of at least one count of espionage, conspiracy, and treason, leading to the loss of life of your fellow roundels, I hereby banish you. Now leave! I don't ever want to see that chase scene you call a face again! Joan. You may lay claim to Ronnie's assets as you see fit. Hi, how are you? Need something? Pull your hat out your eyes and get it properly you, fitted, you nutty. That battle might have gone differently. What, with all this commotion, one might think you're a hero. Might. But might isn't enough for Prince Davies. Yes, I suggest you make yourself presentable immediately. Someone of your style might need some direction in that matter. Get proper attire at either Chez Chanel or Casa di Milano. Both are brilliant designers, if a bit petty. I'm sure you can work something out with one of them. This place ain't what it used to be, and it ain't used to be much. Oh, could murder a couple of Rosie right now. Great day to just faff about a little and live. Oh, you're back.
No begging. I don't got any handouts. 